Jesus cracks me up. Even in his resurrection glory, his humanity still emerges. Today, in exasperation with the dullards known as the disciples, Jesus says, I told you so. I told you I would defeat death. I told you the forces of evil wouldn't win. In last week's story of Thomas and this week's conclusion to the road to Emmaus story, the risen Christ proves that the prophecies concerning his resurrection were all true. He had been arrested, tortured, crucified, died, and buried. It seemed to the disciples that only part of the prophecy had come true, that the cross had done its wicked work. That's what de what's dead is dead. Yet here he is among them in the flesh, asking for a snack. Even though Jesus had told them, they still failed to see that the resurrection, as promised, had happened. It doesn't make any sense to them. And you know what? Even though we have more than a few Easter's under our collective belts, this idea of life everlasting, of death being nothing more than a moment in time, remains a profound mystery that challenges our human reason and defines our faith. Try as scholars might, the resurrection cannot be proven. It can only be believed. This doesn't make the resurrection a myth. It makes our faith in it the truth. Our faith as outlined in the gospels hinges on the fundamental fact that we are an Easter people, people of the resurrection, people who believe that death is dead and life is eternal. Jesus tells us, you are witnesses of this truth. I died and rose again and from now on you, meaning us, are to spread this good news, to live it and to be it. We're to wrestle less with the how of the resurrection and live more into the truth of it. And the truth is this, we all have our own personal Calvaries. And through our faith in Jesus Christ and the outrageous love of our creator God, we never are alone on Calvary's hill. And we will, we always will rise anew into the light and life of resurrection. And we will do this time and time again throughout our human journey. Even though the reality of Jesus's resurrection may be difficult to wrap our brains around, the truth of the resurrection remains alive and well. In scores of treatment, hospital, hospice, and living rooms, I myself, and I know you too, have seen this. I've witnessed the glory of resurrection. Over and over, I've been privileged to see people confront deep darkness and emerge into the light of resurrection. I've seen them accept the love of God, which surpasses all understanding and move from the cross to the empty tomb of their own lives. I have seen them live into their own Easter stories. We, as a people, are living our Easter story right now. The days ahead are daunting. What will our world look like when this pandemic is finally under control? How many people will be missing from our dining room tables? How many people won't be in the pews of our churches? How many people 
will live on only in our hearts, but not in this temporal world. The pandemic has taken so much from us, more than it seems we can bear. And yet, because we are an Easter people, we know, we must know that resurrection is just around the corner. As John writes in his first letter, beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. We are God's beloved children and how we manifest this truth in our own lives is still being revealed. Will we allow resurrection to happen to us? Or will we stay stuck in Calvary's grasp? You know, moving away from the cross is not easy because Calvary and all its desperate sadness is familiar, it's clear, dead is dead, right? But new life, resurrected life is unscripted and promises to take us to places unknown, unimagined unclear. This unknown can be frightening, challenging, and difficult, but this journey that we are on, the journey of a world that has been transformed by over three million deaths from COVID-19, the journey of this country, which has been brought to her knees by the epidemic of racial intolerance and unbridled gun violence, the journey of these two partnership dioceses, realizing that what was will no longer work and that what can be is still being learned. These journeys that we are on, these journeys are journeys that we are called to take with the risen Jesus by our side. The disciples struggled to get off of Calvary's hill, but they did it. They came to believe. My friends, we are indeed witnesses to all these things. Easter morning always comes. Death never wins. Darkness shall never overtake us as long as we believe. Amen and alleluia.